$250,000, Dante. What element, like water, has an unusual physical property that causes it to expand when it freezes? I'm waiting for a day, Silicon. This is the point I said I wouldn't gamble. I'm gonna say A, Silicon, final answer. Oh, Dante, it's not Silicon. It was... Dante Constable, who thought he had lost on his $250,000 question last season. <laughs> well, as yeah. it turns out, we have some good news for the audience because I want to bring you back to that question, all right? We said the answer was bismuth, and it is. But recently it was discovered that silicon also expands when it freezes, and that means that there were actually two correct answers. <laughs> $250,000. That's right. Wow. You get a lot of bananas for that. <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling now? Uh, I'm so excited and uh, tingling all over. I'm just And your, com your companion, MJ, is back in the audience. Welcome to you, MJ. Nice to see Hi, you again. <laughs> MJ, I remember this moment so clearly, audience, because when you went for it, I'm looking at her face. <laughs> And she did not want you to go for that. She wanted you to walk away with 100000 and just be done. And after you missed it, you said, I bet she's really mad at me, right? <laughs> Were you MJ in the moment? Yeah. Extremely. So you've come back to relive it now? I mean, we're going to keep going. What if he does that again? That's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, Dante, i got to tell you, you uh, talk about a second life. You really have one. Uh, I am lucky. $250,000 now facing two questions and you will be at a million going for 500,000 you don't have any lifelines left are you ready to play million i'm ready to go man. audience are you ready to play In 1996, the Pillsbury Bake Off awarded its first million dollar prize to the creator of what recipe? Macadamia fudge tort, cream cheese brownie pie, crescent caramel swirl, chocolate praline layer cake. devil in your head saying go for it uh, he's on my shoulder oh right he's on there. your shoulder <laughs> <laughs> thank god for war what does the devil say it is he's saying you answer that question and i'll be seeing you soon pal <laughs> that's what he's saying that's what he's saying to me <laughs> okay. i'm done <laughs> That's done. it. I'm done. I'm not trying that one. Final? Final. <laughs> good, good move, Dante Constable. <laughs> $250,000. Let's take a look. Macadamia fudge tort. You can oh, go I'm buy good. a bunch of them. Congratulations, Dante. Such a pleasure to have you. Thank you again. Good to see you. Too. Danielle, what a great way to start the show. Yes, huh? A lot yes. of positive energy. Yes. And you have some wonderful news of your own. Why don't you I tell do. the audience what's happening? I'm getting in your married life? in three months. There you I'm go. So <laughs> have you already, I'm sure you figured out the church and where you're going on the honeymoon? And yes, we have everything all planned out. We made deposits for everything. We still have, of course, some final money to spend at the end. So uh, this would definitely help out a lot with that. 
So you need some money for the marriage. For the marriage. And a little exactly. nest egg. Exactly. All right. Well, exactly. you've come to the right place. Yeah. You're 15 questions away from a million. You have all three lifelines to help you. And if you get to the $25,000 mark, you'll get the switch the question lifeline. Okay? Are you ready to play? I'm ready. Okay, then let's play. All right, Danielle, for $100. By definition, which of these festive events attendees keep their faces covered? Prom, shower, masquerade, Star Trek convention. <laughs> uh, it's definitely C, masquerade, final answer. Yes, it is masquerade. Go for 200, Danielle. To encourage the settling of the American frontier, 19th century journalist Horace Greeley favored what famous advice? Be faithful, young man. Go west, young man. Sleep tight, young man. Listen up, young man. Uh, let's go with B. Go west, young man. Final answer. That's a good one to go with. You've got it again. For $300. Which of these types of holes typically leads underground? Peephole, porthole, manhole, knothole? That would be C, manhole. Yes, it is manhole. Large dams equipped with generators are commonly built to produce what kind of power? Hydroelectric, solar, nuclear, wind. A, hydroelectric, electric, final answer. Sure is, you have it again, Danielle. And this is for $1,000. Which of these entrees is traditionally served with applesauce on the side? Pork chops, filet mignon, eggs benedict, Beef stew. Definitely A, pork chops. Final answer. It's a good meal. You got it for $1,000. <laughs> and you have to talk to a terrific star. Go $2,000. We are back with Danielle Radford, who is getting married in three months and got a lot of bills mounting up already. Your fiance, Mitch, is in the audience. Welcome to you, yes, Mitch. Nice is. to see you. Hi, Congratulations. So this money will definitely come in handy, and so far so good. You have your first thousand, can't leave with less than that, going for two thousand, and all the lifelines are sitting there. You want to keep playing? I definitely want to keep playing. Then let's play. <laughs> Danielle, for two thousand dollars. The period before recorded history, prehistory, is commonly divided into what three ages? Steel, brass, and nickel? Platinum, gold, and silver? Water, earth, and wind, stone, bronze, and iron. I wonder if the audience could help me out with this. Well, if you want to call for them, you certainly have the lifeline. Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and ask the audience. Okay. Audience, Danielle needs your help. If you're ready, vote now. percent of the audience believes it is D, stone, bronze, and iron. Nothing else comes close. Should have gone with my instinct, but thank you to the audience for that. Uh, let's go with D. Final answer. Yeah, Fred Flintstone, he lived in the Stone <laughs> Age. You got it right. This is for $4,000. If you have 75 cents in dimes and nickels, and twice as many dimes as nickels, how many dimes do you have? Two, four, six, eight. Six. Dimes, six. C, six, final answer. Six dimes, three nickels. You have it right $4,000. for 8,000, Danielle. Which of these candles is traditionally the shortest in height, typically measuring under an inch? Votive, tea light, taper, pillar. That would be B, tea light, final answer. You make this look so easy, you gotta write again. <laughs> this is for $16,000. Celeb baby Shiloh Jolie Pitt 
shares her first name with a famous Civil War battlefield in what U.S. state? Tennessee, North Carolina, Virginia, Pennsylvania. I'm leaning towards Virginia, but I'm really not sure. Had you ever heard of it before? Honestly, no. No. But I know there are a lot of battlefields in the Virginia area, mm -hmm. so <laughs> let's phone a friend. Okay, who do you want to call? I want to call my dad, Dennis. Dennis? Okay, yes. we're going to get Dennis on the line. Hello? Hey, Dennis. Yes. Hey, it's Meredith from Millionaire. How are you? I'm fine, thanks, Meredith. How are you? I'm great. I'm sitting here with your beautiful daughter, Danielle. Yes. She's going for $16,000, Dad, and she needs your help. Okay. Okay, Danielle, you have 30 seconds, and your time starts now. Celeb baby Shiloh Sh Jolie Pitt shares her first name with a famous Civil War battlefield in what U.S. state? Tennessee, North Carolina, Virginia, or Pennsylvania? Shiloh. I want to say it's Virginia. That's what I thought, too. That's my guess. Okay. Okay? Thanks, Dad. Okay, good luck. Thank you. Bye. Okay, you both want to say it's Virginia. Yeah, I'm going to go with my dad on this one. He's a pretty smart guy. So let's go with C, Virginia. Final answer. It's not Virginia. It's not. It was Tennessee. Darn it. But you have $1,000 for that wedding. Here's your check. Thank, Thank you, you, Danielle. Such Thank a pleasure. You. you sit right Thank there, you. folks. And you stay right where you are because we'll be back with our next contestant right after that. If you'd like to be a part of our studio audience, just log on to our website. Audience members are welcome to take the audition test. Now more than ever, come be a part of Millionaire. And joining me now is Carol Martinez from Wilmington, Delaware. Carol is a stay-at-home mom with, I understand, a severe case of road rage. What is that about? <laughs> Um, I watch the show when I'm home. Uh -huh. A lot of times, being a mom, I'm out and about and doing things, and um, I listen because we have it on our radio at home and or on, in the car. And sometimes when they're making mistakes, I am yelling. I'm oh, you're screaming at the radio, at right? At the radio. Oh, I see. And <laughs> And you told me in the break that you're feeling very nervous. Now, why are you nervous? You watch the show or listen to it all the time? It's just so different. Yeah. Being here, oh my gosh, and you just don't want to mess up. You're not going to mess up. Okay. And I tell all the contestants, <laughs> these are your friends. These are all the people that want you to do well. So, it's good energy, okay? And, and you really can't mess up because I've already printed out the Capital One check for a million dollars. So, you know, I, I have total now. faith in you. Are you ready to play? I'm ready to okay, play. Okay, no turning back. Okay. Let's play. <laughs> All right, Carol, for $100, which of these exercises is most similar to a pull-up? Chin-up, push-up, sit-up, I give up. <laughs> most similar to a pull-up. A, a chin-up. Final answer. Good job, Carol. You got it. Thank you. Well, for 200. Mischievous tricks involving shaving cream and toilet paper often surround the celebration of what holiday? Easter, Thanksgiving, Halloween, Valentine's Day. Not that I ever did it, but that would be C, Halloween, final answer. I did. You got it for $200. Going for 300. To restrict access to crime scenes, police officers traditionally use what color tape as a barricade? Brown, yellow, green, blue. What color uh, B, yellow, final answer. Yeah, I don't like to see it. You got it for $300. Going for $500. The college-inspired abbreviation BMOC traditionally stands for big what on campus? Man, mojo, machine, Major. Uh, a, man, final answer. Sure is, man. You have to try it. Going for $1,000. What is the only U.S. state that borders both the Atlantic Ocean and the Gulf of Mexico? Louisiana, Alabama, Mississippi, Florida. D, Florida, final answer. 
Well, I hope you feel better because you have a thousand dollars now. That's always the scariest no, part, that did. first it's five really questions. Scary. But you did them, you have a thousand dollars, can't leave with less than that. Here's your question for two thousand dollars. The last two characters mentioned in the Gilligan's Island theme song are the professor and what other castaway? The skipper? Thurston Howell III, Mary Ann, the movie star. The professor and Mary Ann, see, final answer. <laughs> Who said that show was stupid? You got it, it's worth $2,000. This is for $4,000, Carol. What common household object did feminist Elizabeth Cady Stanton describe as that one-eyed demon of destruction? Corkscrew, clothespin, potato peeler, sewing needle. Oh. Mm. I don't know, but I think I know, and I'm gonna go with D, sewing needle, final answer. She's got that one eye, you have it for $4,000. for $8,000. Developed by an elementary school teacher, Airborne is a popular herbal remedy that aims to do what? Alleviate jet lag, fight off colds, cure insomnia, curb appetite. <sighs> Never tried it, but I heard of it. Uh, it's B, fight off colds, final answer. You have nothing to be nervous about. $8,000. More Closed captioning sponsored by. We are back with Carol Martinez from Wilmington, Delaware, who was so nervous at the start of play. And look at you now doing a great job. Are you feeling better? Better. Good. Mm, better. You know you're going for $16,000. No, I really didn't know. <laughs> yes, you are. Seven away from you the million. That. I'm sorry. That probably makes you nervous again. Yeah, I'd rather. Are you ready to keep playing? Ready to go. All right, let's keep playing. <laughs> Sixteen thousand, Carol. According to estimates by the Census Bureau, the U.S. population will reach what number in October 2006? Two hundred fifty million, two hundred seventy-five million, three hundred million, three hundred twenty-five million. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I think I'm going to phone a friend. And who do you want to call? I want to call my neighbor, Doug Bat. Doug. Doug. All right. We're going to get Doug on the line. It's Meredith from Millionaire. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm great. And you know that I'm here with Carol. Yes. She is going for $16,000, Doug. Great. She just needs your help, okay? Okay. All right, Carol, you have 30 seconds. Time starts now. According to estimates by the Census Bureau, the U.S. population will reach what number in October 2006? 250 million, 275 million, 300 million, or 325 million? 10 seconds. Okay, what were the choices? 250, 275, 300, 325. Oh, boy. Uh, I don't know, Carol. Okay. I would say two. Two, okay. Oh. Okay. Okay, um. <clears throat> Let's 50-50 it. Okay. Computer, please randomly take away two of the wrong answers. Ooh, Ooh, so both the twos so are gone. Wrong. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so... Well, <clears throat> I'm just going to use them all because I really don't know. And so I'm going to ask you guys. You can do it. All right. It's okay. up to the audience then. Audience, Carol needs your help. If you're ready, vote now. Okay, 81% believe that it's 300 million. 19% say 325 million. They are so smart. You guys are so smart. Um, I am going to go with them. And what did they say? No. <laughs> uh, well, 81% of them said 300 million. Well, then I'm going to go with 81% of you guys and say C, 300 million, final answer. Oh, they are right, they are right, they are right. Oh, what a way to end the 
show because you know what that means. It means we're done for the day, but you want to thank them for that? Thank yeah, you. absolutely. You're coming back tomorrow. I'm coming back tomorrow. You folks, please come back tomorrow. Until then, from New York, everyone, bye for now.